All right, so good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Um, today is uh, Saturday, chilling about three hours before it's time for me to go to work. Woke up kind of late, um, but went to bed kind of late. But yeah, the reason being is because I was locked outside of my car for about three hours yesterday. Um, but with that being said, um, I'm gonna show you guys a, a strategy on how to get your key if it's stuck inside the car door, like, you know, with mine, my buttons don't work because my battery is dead inside my key. So just like my other BMW, I had to manually stick it in and unlock my doors. When I did that to this one, um, the key got stuck when I was at work and would not come out no matter what I was doing. And when I turned it to try and like, you know, get it out, it ended up rolling down all the windows, even the, uh, you know, the uh, sunroof, you know what I'm saying? Roll down everything, you know, cause that's what it does if you turn the key and you hold it you know stuff like that it rolls down everything and unlock all the doors but um so i was stuck outside late at night 12 midnight all the way to two o'clock in the morning and stuff like that from 11 to 2 in the morning just stuck you know what i'm saying all the windows down cold as hell you know no jacket you know i was just pissed off but with that being said um i'm gonna try and get this uh backup camera installed before i go to work I still gotta figure it out if I wanna if I wanna install a backup camera to this, to the mirror that I'm putting up, or if I wanna install it to this. Spray some WD-40. Inside so the key. Inside so the keyhole as well. Also has some 3M tape on the back. You see how the BMW pillows look inside here too. So he's looking real spiffy inside here. Yeah, so your boy went with the blue interior lights this time. I got some red lights right there and the top shining on both sides. So when I don't got this on, it's just be red lights. I even did the glove compartment. I mostly like the blue lights on the floor. Like when I open up, like when I seen somebody with their car and I seen them like, it was like, a, uh, I forgot what it was. I think it was, a, um, it was some new uh, electric car. And when he got in, the blue lights came on just the way it looked, it looked like, I don't know. I don't know, it just look, it look kind of cool, you know what I'm saying? Even though blue ain't my color and red ain't my color, but for a car color, it's good, you know, for interior. How many of y'all rear view mirror can do this? I still gotta connect it though, to the uh, car power and everything so it can connect to the system. Or else it's just, just gonna turn off, but yeah, man, that shit dope. But right now, let me hide my address. Boom. Down here, I got both the gaskets for the cooler gasket and the um, the main gasket where the, uh, you know, the oil housing meets, meets the uh, main, you know, engine block. So I'm going to change both those gaskets out. The only, the place that it's leaking from is where the, you know, where it meets up with the housing. But I'm going to change out the cooler gasket anyways, just in case, you know, it starts leaking from there, you know, because it's, it's all pressurized. So if you fix one leak, it may end up going to another leak. I already know what that was about when I was doing my um, cooling system for this BMW. You know, I ended up changing the whole damn thing out by the time I was done with everything. So, um, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and get up out of here and take care of my business, people. I'm just wanting to touch bases and inside this DIY vlog and let you guys know, you know, how I'm feeling right now with everything that's going on and my little update with everything I've been working on with this bad boy. Pretty much, to make a long story short, his BMW needed to be overhauled. You know, I learned every 
100,000 miles or so BMWs need to be overhauled. A lot of people don't get it done. They just keep on driving it and just end up getting messed up and messed up. And then, you know, but I can't stress it enough. If I can get this oil leak fixed, that's my next worry right now. The oil leak is, once I get that done, if that's done and squared away, I'm gonna be cool for, for a little bit. I still got only this month to drive it, you know, as far as, you know, the DMV is concerned, um, lawfully. So I still gotta get this bad boy, you know, small. So, but yeah, man. I'm going to go ahead and get up out of here, finish taking care of my business, and you know, yeah.